What is up everybody, it is your boy here, Pixelbane, doing something completely different for like the umpteenth time. So I was on poll, as I normally am, being like a shitlord that I am, and I came across this little story about uh, this Raphael Aguilar. This is relating to the Seth, ugh, can't speak today, the Seth Rich stuff, and it's quite interesting. I mean, there's nothing concrete here, this is all just uh, circumstantial evidence surrounding this but I, I thought it was cool enough to do a little little quick little video on because the seth rich stuff is now getting even more fucking popular in the mainstream with like hannity now like like going into wikileaks stuff which is crazy to me um so yeah uh before, quick disclaimer this is obviously from poll and it is from some anonymous person so take that as you will also there's completely circumstantial so there's nothing necessarily here and third, I'm not a fucking reporter. I'm not a journalist. So <laughs> take that as you will. But basically what we have is this Raphael Aguilar. Um, he and as well as someone else, uh, Carmelo, whatever, whatever, they were involved in a double homicide uh, seven hours after Seth Rich was shot. Um, and no, wait, no, seven hours away from where Seth Rich was shot. Um, and the, the following day. Uh, so basically what's going on here is that these, this guy and this, the Carmelo guy or whatever the hell his name was, they basically were involved in murder. And the crazy thing is, is that this guy, this Raphael, his occupation was basically as a Clinton campaign aide in 2016. I.e. when, uh, Seth Rich was murdered, basically, supposedly because it was a it was a mugging gone wrong even though nothing was stolen so this anon basically is going in saying that he was he was directed into this he saw the obituary re referencing the clinton campaign aid um and then the local story talking about the double homicide that we'll look into a little bit just after i cover this um so yeah so it's within seven hours of the area that seth rich was shot um, and their theory, even though there's like not a whole lot to go on here, is that Seth Rich was murdered by hitmen that were by hired through Hillary's campaign or the DNC or whoever hat we have you. And it was obviously they fucked up because Seth didn't die immediately, he was transported to the hospital and they didn't, it was supposed to be made like a mugging and they didn't steal anything. So that obviously raised suspicion of people and the fact that wikileaks released this information about the leaker and all of this just is completely fucking up the dnc at the time and right now it's it's resurfacing um so that's why people are assuming that this is the reason why these two got killed it's basically the tie here is the 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 date the distance from the location and the ties to hillary clinton that's all that really is here but it's pretty crazy if it's true and then looking at this uh it just talks about the double homicide in the area uh this the uh, rafael and carmelo died gunshot wounds to vital organs in hori county deputy deputy coroner Darius fowler said both lived in myrtle beach area so yeah this, this is basically just a double homicide in the area but yeah, so that's all I really wanted to cover. I mean, it's not it might it's probably a whole lot of nothing, but you know, it, it's something interesting. Uh, going off of this, uh, Kim.com says that he's lawyering up, not lawyering up, but talking with his lawyers to release possible uh, connection that he had with uh, Seth Rich. I don't know. He said Monday, but that might be in New Zealand time because he that's where Kim.com lives, or that New Zealand for Monday is basically sunday here in the united states so sometime he's meeting with his lawyers uh, uh, some monday and then he's going to be releasing a statement on that uh, the, the tuesday after that monday um and he was kim.com was in contact with hannity as well as i said the hannity's got really into this for whatever reason i mean i guess the wikileaks stuff picked his interest and he just kept digging and digging and it's like a lot of the people on poll a lot of the people on, I dare I say, fucking Reddit and Twitter. But, like, it's just, there's just so much fucking there. It, it, I just don't understand why the mainstream media isn't just, hasn't been covering it. 
I mean, sure, there's obviously going to be, like, false flag stuff in there. There's going to be stuff that's not necessarily true. It's just hearsay. And, but, like, there's there's got to be truth behind some of this stuff. And digging into it is going to be interesting. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably make another video after Kim.com, basically the guy who created Mega Upload, millionaire, after he releases a statement talking about how he's connected to Seth Rich because that's what he said he was and see where that goes and see what Hannity does. Uh, but yeah, that's it. This has been Pixelbane. I'm going to upload this unedited content to, to YouTube and hopefully you guys like it or at least can laugh at it, you know, and my amazing uh, eloquence and my blah, 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 and whatnot. But have a good night, guys.